Say hello to my little friend. Hi, I'm Chris the Toy Guy from TTPM, and this is Boxer, a miniature robot pal from Spin Master. Designed for kids ages six years and up, this robot is packed with play features designed to engage and entertain, but it's definitely going to be most appealing to younger kids who are more into the play than the programming. Out of the box, you'll want to insert three button cell batteries into the remote control. Use the included USB cable to charge up Boxer's internal battery, which takes about an hour, though it does have some charge when it comes out of the box. There are four different modes of play. You can drive Boxer using the remote control, which is a pretty traditional handheld unit that allows you to go forward, backward, turn, and do stunts. Play mode is all about interacting with Boxer physically by using the touch sensors, light sensors, picking him up, turning him over, and so forth. Game activity mode is designed to get Boxer play in different ways using cards. Select one of the 10 game activity cards that come with the unit, push the button on the back, and let Boxer drive over the barcode on the card. That will get the game going. Finally, you can download the Boxer app from the App Store or Google Play. It's called Boxer Bot, and you want to make sure you search for it on that. The app gives you a bunch of additional cards to unlock that you can use to activate different play experiences. Simply point your device at Boxer, swipe up on the card on the screen to load that game into the robot. Boxer also has a bit of a personality, so it will be happy, sad, grumpy, and more, all in response to how it's played with. We had a lot of fun with this, but there are some things you'll want to be aware of. When you turn Boxer on, it goes into a basic explore mode. He's a little like a manic kid at that point, running all over the place. To use the remote control, you don't want to be any further away than four feet, and you need to have a direct line from the controller to the receiver on the top of the robot. There are three different channels on the remote control that you can use with your robot, and if you have more than one, you'll want them all on different channels. Select one, then turn Boxer on. The manual play mode is really self-explanatory, and this is a great open-ended exploration play. The game activity mode can be a little bit tricky, at least in the unit we tested. You need to push the button on the back of the robot one time, and you'll hear a beep. Place the robot carefully on the card, noting where the wheels go. The robot will drive over the card, and if it reads it correctly, you'll see the eyes change and the game will activate. If not, you'll hear a beep and see X's in the eyes. Some of the games are highly interactive, like soccer, DJ bot, dance party, or paddle bot. Others, like the stunt show, are just entertaining. Finally, the app takes a little bit of finessing to get it to work. The robot responds the same way as it does when it reads the card, so you'll want to make sure that you really did swipe that card into the robot. This is definitely a toy that invites kids to explore and play. Spin Master says that the instructions are designed just to get you started, and really that's what we found to be the case. It also says that Boxer has artificial intelligence, and to an extent it does, but it's really rudimentary and more about unlocking already programmed features than machine learning. But that doesn't really matter at all. For the kids playing with Boxer, it will be a fun, interactive buddy that's packed with play and personality. For more on this toy, including where to buy and current pricing, find us at TTPM and subscribe to our YouTube channels for more great toy reviews every day.